The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Here comes Mickey James. A six-time champion. Guys, this is without a doubt a potentially career-altering opportunity for her here tonight. And at the risk of being a glass-half-empty type of guy, it could also be a career-deflating opportunity. If she doesn't win the title tonight, there's no telling when or if her next title match will even come. carrying the title in a treasure chest. You think Buddy Rogers or Bruno San Martino would ever do something like that? Well, they didn't have a treasure chest, did they, Corey? Hey guys, I'd say this is easily one of the biggest title matches the women's division has seen in quite some time. And that really is a testament to what these women have been able to accomplish in recent years. And I'm not just talking about the women here tonight, but the entire women's division should be applauded for this. Introducing the challenger from Richmond, Virginia, Mickey James. And introducing the champion from Yamaguchi, Japan, the SmackDown Women's Champion, Kyrie This is for the Women's Championship, sold out here. Everyone standing in anticipation to see who truly is the best superstar in the women's division. Ever since Vicky James teamed with Red and won the tag team title, she's been riding an unexpected wave of success to avoid retirement. Tonight, she has the opportunity to continue her winning streak and become SmackDown Live Women's Champion if she can defeat Kyrie Sane. I know I've said it before, but I think tonight is the night Mickey's luck expires, especially without her partner Red to bail her out of any tough situations. Well, if tonight is truly the end of the line for Mickey, it has been one heck of a final run. And wow. face first, Flapjack. Oh, 
Mickey James seizing the moment that time. Ah, oh, look at the abdominal stretch. Look at this. This one's about the women's championship, and nothing means more to these women than that title. Brutality. Ooh, well measured. Mickey James is starting to take control of this match. She continues to press forward. Not looking good, guys. Monkey flip. The champ getting put on the back foot here. She still has a lot of time to recover, though. Rolling neck snap. Nice arm drag takeover. Not what she was looking for. Oh, had that well scouted. Close quarters, knee strike. Oh, what a nasty knee lift. Go behind. Breaker. Next snap. This is a big risk. Will it pay off? Here we go. And look at the quickness by Sane. Oh, targeting the stomach. Swing neck breaker. Face crusher. Oh, put down face first. Heading back up. Not the first time we've seen her do Look at this! Oh, man, what a splash! Mickey James with a mick kick! I don't know if Sane can take much more of this. Well, she's as good as done. She's walking the plank, so to speak. Ah, yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. Kyrie Sane needs a comeback, but the Pirate Princess and it's Mickey James making a move. Oh, spiking DDT. Referee in position. Two. The unbelievable streak continues. Mickey James is now one half of the tag team champions and your new SmackDown Live women's champion. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this. Somehow, Mickey continues to defy the odds. It's like every time she's back into a corner, she somehow finds a new way to escape. Congratulations, Mickey. You earned every bit of this. I feel like you've been a little off lately. You're moody, quick to lash out, overly judgmental about my decisions. It all sounds like typical me. Maybe those weren't the best examples, but I've known you long enough to realize when something's bothering you. Well, to be honest, I'm kind of getting impatient. I mean, teaming with Mickey has been fun, but I never thought it would last this long, and I definitely didn't see her singles title run happening. Now I'm basically waiting for someone to beat her so I can go after the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. I've been dying to cross that off. Some might say you're a bit too focused on the list. Who's some? Are you some? Look, if you want my advice, I see two ways for you to get what you want. But the first option wouldn't be very honorable. What do you mean? If you and Mickey were to somehow lose your tag titles, then Mickey would be forced to retire and vacate her women's title, leaving you free to pursue it. Option number two, the more straight up way of doing things, would be for you to tell Mickey exactly how you feel and challenge her to a match for the SmackDown Live Women's Championship, potentially crossing that off the list. But if you beat her, 
you'd also lose the tag titles and worse, end the career of your idol slash friend. I don't really love either option. This business forces you to make some tough decisions. But at least you're not choosing between competing in a tag title match or saving your mangled ear like McFoley once had to do. No, but if losing my ear was option three, I'd think I'd take it. The alternative is just waiting around for something to happen, and who knows how long that could take. You're right. I guess I should... Hey, Mickey. I need to talk to you about something. It's kind of personal, sorry. We'll catch up later. What's going on? Is everything okay? Yeah, well, not really. It's just lately... Ugh, I'll just come out and say it. I want your title, and I know what that means for you and for us, but I don't think I can sit back any longer. You know what? I was waiting for this moment. You were? Look, I, I know who you are, what you're made of, what got you here. You're driven to be the very best. And I knew that being tag team champions would only satisfy you for so long. So you don't hate me? No, I get it. I actually respect you for your honesty. I can think of a couple other ways this could have gone down. But if I beat you, it's all over if it's going to come to an end, and it will, sooner rather than later. I want you to be the one that does it. Besides, none of this would have even happened if it wasn't for you. But with all of that said, I've come too far to just roll over. If you face me for my title, you better be ready for a fight. <laughs> you know me. I wouldn't want it any other way. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. You know, when you think... Introducing the challenger from Seattle. Months ago, Red essentially resuscitated her idol Mickey James career. Tonight, after issuing her an open and honest challenge, she may now cause it to come to a sudden conclusion. If you ask me, Red's being extremely selfish. She's prioritizing the list and her individual goals ahead of her tag team championship and her supposed friend's career. Uh, you may feel that way, but from all accounts, Mickey James was completely fine with how Red approached her regarding this match. She even said if she was going to lose her title and her career, she'd want it to be to Red. Well, I for one will never understand. All the way from the top rope. Tying up the legs now. Oh, looking for the surfboard. Oh, nothing's going to stop her now. Nobody can match up with this woman when she's on a roll like this. Nobody. Things aren't looking good for her. Oh. Overhead suplex. Going to the top rope. Incoming. Diving knee drop. The hits adding up a little on the champ. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Oh, oh man. Oh, 
us why. Uh-oh. I'm afraid to think what's going to happen next. Oh. Oh. Side slam. Going for the home run. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Oof. Textbook vertical suplex. Bam. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Set him up for the side rushing leg sweep. And she. Mickey James appears to be on her last legs. I'm sorry. Red hits the Mick kick. Is this the end for Mickey James? It's all over. Red is your new SmackDown Live Women's Champion. And as a result, Mickey James' historic career has come to an end. Red ended Mickey's career with her own move. What a true friend. I think it was actually a sign of respect to do it that way. Yeah, it was almost like a tribute. You know, it would have been a good tribute continuing to defend the tag championship and not ending your idol's career. You deserve this moment. A nice gesture from our new champion, Red, giving Mickey James a chance to say goodbye to the WWE Universe. And no matter how I feel about Red right now, I do want to say thank you to Mickey James. You will be missed. Thank you, Mickey.
And that's how I won my first SmackDown Live Women's Championship. That totally sucked the air out of the room. That's why I wanted to skip over that part of the story. I I'll distract him with the visual aid. With everything we'd accomplished, we were really starting to cement our legacies, especially in our hometown where we'd always been overshadowed by a certain individual until this happened. That is a beautiful sign, don't you think? I agree. I would never throw rocks at a sign like that. <laughs> Even though we were gaining respect and recognition, I still felt like I had a lot more to prove than Red. She had won championships everywhere we went, and I only had my universal title win over Samoa Joe that was mostly considered a fluke. Sure, I started a movie, but that sort of thing didn't hold the same weight. So I sought out the advice from someone who was a visionary in this business. A man who had been the guiding force behind the careers of countless legendary superstars. By the way, I saw your movie, and some of the choices you've made were, um, uh, intriguing. That really means a lot coming from you, Mr. Heyman. Just call me Paul, thank you. So, other than this fantastic, I have no choice but to eat at lunch. Why am I here? I asked you to meet with me because I need help from the guy who managed some of the biggest names in sports entertainment history. Kurt Angle, The Big Show, Steve Austin. Don't forget Brock Lesnar! B b before you go any further, uh, let's just get one thing straight. I'm not going to advocate for you. I'm enjoying my retirement way too much. I don't want an advocate. I just want your advice. I've made progress with how people perceive me, but there's still some holdouts. So how do I earn the respect of everyone in the locker room? How do I reach the heights the legends you guided reached and build a career that's Hall of Fame worthy? I really hate suggesting this, but in this business, there's only one surefire way to cement your legacy and become immortal. And that's by defeating the greatest force this universe has ever known. And yes, I'm talking about The Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> yeah, come on, Paul. I'm, I'm serious. And so am I. Dead serious. Just look at what a victory over The Undertaker did for my client, Barack Lesnar. If you want that type of prestige, there is only one way to get it. But no one's seen The Undertaker in years. Oh, I'm sure The Undertaker is still out there somewhere. And if you want to... You can still find him, but I personally don't recommend it. Come on, you've had your success. The WWE Universe admires you, although there's no accounting for taste. Is the respect of the men and the women in that locker room really worth risking everything you have? Your well-being, your soul? Just think about it carefully, because if I were you, and thank God I'm not, I'd forget the whole thing and just walk away before it's too late. I want to do it. I want to cement my legacy by defeating The Undertaker. Hey, it's your funeral, and if that's what you really want, I'll arrange a meeting with someone who might be able to help you find The Undertaker. Red, it's been a pleasure, and Trey, well, despite my better judgment, I wish you luck.
Kind of creepy here late at night. Did you know some arenas are supposedly haunted? Really? Yeah. This one time after your match, all I heard was BOO! Assuming you didn't get that from a popsicle stick, I'm mildly impressed. Thanks. So where's Heyman's friend who's going to help you find the Undertaker? He's supposed to meet us here, right? Paul didn't give me any info other than a time and a place, so maybe his guy's running late. Did you hear that? It's kind of hard not to. No one else is in the building right now, so maybe it's Heyman's guy. We should go check it out. Uh, I don't know. Seriously? You want to take on the Undertaker, but you're afraid of an arena boiler room? Let's go. I can't really see much, can you? No, so we should probably try again some other time. I mean, technically the Undertaker's dead, so it's not like he's going anywhere. Wait. I think I just saw something move. Hello? Are you sure about this? Come on, it'll be fine. It's, it's not too late to turn back. Are you here to meet with us about finding the Undertaker? I swear, I saw someone down there. Did you see a light switch anywhere? No. I should have never gotten myself into this. Yeah, it was your idea. I can't believe mankind used to hang out down here. I'm gonna head back up and try to call Heyman. <laughs> Papa Shango? Well, this is unexpected, but I guess you'd need someone with supernatural powers to track down the dead man. Ask him to help. Um... Mr. Shango, apparently we have a mutual friend in Paul Heyman who said you could help me find the Undertaker? I don't think he's going to talk. Clearly. So, uh, how do we go about finding Taker? You want us to get inside the furnace? No, furnaces are hot. So maybe he's saying we're warm. Like we're close to finding the Undertaker. This is exciting! <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here. Uh, wait! I think he's trying to tell us something. What was that? It's in my eyes. I don't know, but it kind of has a lemony flavor. Not bad. You're eating it? Cool. Um, what the hell is that? I think it's some kind of portal. There's no way I'm going in a portal. If you want to become immortal, you have to go through the portal. See? It even rhymes. And besides, you're always telling me I need to loosen up and be more open-minded. So maybe you need to take your own advice for once. The last time I said that I was trying to get you to try pineapple on your pizza and not cross over into the netherworld, it looks like it's starting to close. Make a decision. Fine. Hey, wait! Papa Shango, no! Well, that's just great. Now we don't even have our voodoo mime guide. Are you smiling? I told you not to eat that dust. Hey, snap out of it! What was that for? Ow, that was way harder than my slap. I was just trying to wake you up. I don't think we're asleep. Then what is this place? Did you hear that? 
From now on, let's just assume I hear everything you hear. Okay? Look. It's Kane! This is awesome! Maybe you can help my friend. He's trying to find your brother, and we lost our guide. Not cool! Look out! It's all right, Trey. Yeah, you did good. You did good. Catch your breath. Are those fireworks? Weird. That's what you think is weird about all this? Maybe we're supposed to use these to signal for help. Who's gonna help us here? No idea, but either way, we'll get to see some cool fireworks. Except I just barbecued Kane. I think it worked. Something's coming. How do we know it's a good something? Hey! Help! Wait, is that? Yes! Yes! I was sailing around the ocean of reincarnation when I was summoned by the works of fire in the sky. Can you help us? I set out to find The Undertaker, but I'd be happy now to just make it home alive. Step aboard, Skarsgård, and I will do my best to guide you on your wonderful journey. But for it to be truly over, you must delete the Demon of Death Valley that you speak of. Come on. This is our best and only option. You don't have any more of that Shango dust, do you? I wish. So are you taking us to the Undertaker? Before you do battle with the man who is dead, you must first encounter the Lady of the Marge. Yes. If you look past her, she will make you obsolete, and you will never return to your home dimension. 
Is there anything else you can tell us about her that would help? She is a creature of darkness, despair, and decay. We have already entered her plane of existence some time ago. How can you tell? It's so dark out here. That's how I can tell. This is as far as Skarsgård can take you, so I must bid you farewell. That's it? What kind of boat ride doesn't have snacks? Do you at least have anything that can help us see where we're going? Only the Lady of the Marsh's luminance will piss the darkness. There, in the distance, a flickering light. Our passage of time on the ocean of reincarnation was wonderful. I hope your vessels survive the treacherous conditions you now must face. Good evening, calm peers. I should have listened to Paul Heyman and left this alone. I'd be at home on the couch right now watching true crime murder mysteries instead of becoming one. Don't say that. We can do this, whatever this is. That must be the Marsh Lady's cabin. Not great curb appeal. Should we call her out for a fight? Or we could quietly steal the lantern, run for our lives, and try to find a way out of here. I like that plan better. <clears throat> it won't move. It's like some invisible force is holding it there. <laughs> I think she's calling us to go in the cabin. You speak Marsh Lady all of a sudden? <laughs> See? I was right. Go, oh, turds. You want to play? Play with Nikki. Let's play. Let's play. Let's play. Ah! What the... Is this about me messing with the lantern? I just wanted to get a closer look. It's a, it's an antique, right? Ah, uh, fun. Is. <laughs> He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands.
<laughs> you want to play?
good. You're okay. Yeah, thanks for the help. Wait, you got the lantern off the hook? Yeah, it just lifted right off. I think you were doing something wrong. Or maybe we had to defeat its source of power to gain access to it. Eh, I still think you were doing it wrong. Well, the lantern doesn't seem to be helping very much. It's still pretty dark out here. Wait, over there, through the trees. The light's reflecting off something in the distance. Let's go check it out. Sure, why not? Because we haven't done enough terrifying things yet. It's Undertaker's symbol. We must be close. And look, there's a hook on it, just like the one at the cabin. Maybe we're supposed to hang the lantern there? I really have no idea at this point, but it's worth a shot. Whoa! What are all those lights? Are they eyes? Yep, they're eyes. Evil eyes. I think you summoned him. No, you did. This is your thing, remember? I helped you get this far, but you have to do this on your own now. The Reaper is waiting to drag you through the fires of hell.
Whoa! We're back! Unless we're dead, and this is heaven. If heaven's a dark, dirty boiler room, I'm going to reassess how I've been living my life. Wait, so... Did all of that really just happen? I mean, who knows what kind of chemicals we could have been exposed to in here. Which would explain some of the stuff I think I saw. What? I think there's our answer. It's Paul Heyman. Answer it. Uh, hey, Paul? Hey, don't hey, Paul me. I've been trying to get a hold of you for the last hour. My private investigator was there to meet you, and you were nowhere in sight. Private investigator? Wait, so you didn't arrange for Papa Shango to help us find the Undertaker? Papa Shango? No, I didn't arrange for a meeting with Papa Shango. I'm, I'm not 100% sure what's going on. Hey. Do you want expert help, yes or no? Turns out we are no longer in need of his services. Thanks! I, well, look, you at least need to reimburse me for his time. And his hourly rate is not cheap. He is, I assure you, uh, the finest What's that? So you're breaking up. Sorry!
Hey, it was un Hey, it was unfortunate. Hey, hothead. Did you see my latest movie premiered at number one at the box office? I think I'm going to get a huge back end, which is something you should know all about. <laughs> Get it? Because of your ginormous butt? <laughs> Hey. Is it in there? Yep. What are you gonna do with it? I figured I'd put it on my living room shelf, you know, as a nice reminder of our trip to hell. Seriously? No. I'm gonna use it to call the Undertaker out. I'm guessing he really wants this thing back. Why would you do that? You already beat him. But no one else knows that. If I want to earn the respect, pun intended, of the locker room and WWE universe, then I need to beat him again in front of an audience of actual living human beings. 
Now that I've had a week to come down off the Shango dust, I'm a little less sure about all this. So just be careful, okay? I will. And who knows, if I can lure him into a match, maybe it'll be so big my real parents will finally show up. Crazier things have happened this past week. Yeah. Maybe. You're probably wondering how I acquired this. But I'm gonna save those details for some other time, mainly because you probably wouldn't believe me. But long story short, I went through hell to get it. Literally. So Undertaker, if you want a shot at taking this back, you'll have to face me at Survivor Series in a... Now come out here and accept my challenge. Come on, answer me. What's wrong? You too embarrassed to show your face after what I did to you in the plains of purgatory in front of your hordes of undead? I told you it was a crazy story. At Survivor Series, you will not survive, but you will rest in peace. Welcome to Survivor Series, where later tonight we have an epic last ride match between Trey and the returning Undertaker. Yeah, and if facing the Phenom wasn't intimidating enough, he's dead set on regaining possession of his urn that Trey somehow acquired. Look, assuming this goes how I think it will, Trey won't need to worry about how he's getting to the next town. He'll be leaving here in a hearse tonight. The following contest is a last ride match. Making his way to the rip. The dead man cometh. Death Valley, weighing in at 200. 
299 pounds, the Undertaker. The greatest winning streak in sports history. When he Undertaker went 21 and 0 at WrestleMania. It is a streak that will never, ever be duplicated. The Undertaker is one of, if not the most prolific performer in pay-per-view in WWE history. You have to wonder, what does Trey have to gain in a match like this? While the risk is certainly high, so is the potential upside. I know it's unlikely, but if Trey could defeat The Undertaker, that would go a long way in solidifying his status as one of the top WWE superstars in recent memory. I think there's a better chance Saxton wins Commentator of the Year. Wait, you really think I have a shot this year? No, no, I sure don't. Gosh, how'd he do that? And the... Boom! Oh. This phenom, The Undertaker, was invincible for 21 WrestleManias. 21 victories. It's a streak that will never be duplicated by any WWE superstar ever again. For over two decades, The Undertaker was perfect in sports entertainment's grandest stage. Undertaker looking mortal here. Not everyone's cut out for extreme rules. Maybe he wasn't ready. He's been quickly taking control here. That's what he does. Keep on the attack. Side rush and leg sweep. Acrobatic action at its absolute best. Right to the back of the neck. Elbow drop. And it's The Undertaker, able to break free. Beautiful side Russian leg sweep. Reflecting on The Undertaker's streak, even though the Dead Man's WrestleMania record has a couple of blemishes on it now, any match against The Undertaker on the grandest stage holds a significant place on the show. Undertaker's turned any match against him into the marquee match of WrestleMania. He's the spectacle within the pinnacle of this business. No superstar has ever been as synonymous with WrestleMania as The Undertaker. You build momentum. You look for victory. Every superstar is trying to do that when they step in the ring. inflicted. Undertaker looks like he's down and out. Not good, folks. Yeah, he's being torn apart in there. It's time for the Undertaker to rise just one more time. He get dangerous out here, especially when there are no countouts. Oh, what a DDT. Wow. the back rolling cutter warm up the buses this one's over oh man that's put so many competitors away Ooh. the head scissors a body oh Ooh, man that's just nasty raining down elbows watch out here absolutely spiked DDT stomping ouch turning the momentum to his favor 
Training, strategizing, and execution. It's all coming together right now. And it's The Undertaker able to break free. will get your attention. Set up for the Russian oh. leg sweep. Nicely done. Hooked up, and down. The Jinoku driver. He's not going to like this. And Undertaker showing such creativity. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Side rush and leg sweep. Up for the side Russian leg sweep. Oh, oh, oh perfect form. That up. Uh -oh. the all. Oh, oh my goodness, crushing it. That's how you wear down your opponent. Wow, can't believe the Undertaker got out of that one. Side Russian leg sweep. Absolutely give you a headache. That's for sure, Michael. Oh. Hooked up and down. The Jinoku driver. He's fighting hard and it's paying off. Stringing together some big moves here. Uh-oh, shot in the back. Man. Is this it? Is Trey going to somehow pull this off? Trey has the Undertaker in the hearse, and he closes the door. Trey has defied all odds to defeat the Undertaker. This definitely quiets any doubts that people might have had about Trey's legitimacy. I'll admit it. I had those doubts, but what Trey did tonight was truly impressive. Maybe this guy's the real deal after all. And that's how we opened a portal to the netherworld and summoned The Undertaker to the Earth Realm so I could defeat him and cement my Hall of Fame legacy. Uh, we're fine, thanks. I told you they wouldn't believe it. You know what? I, none of that crazy stuff ever happened.
I mean, I mean sure, I, I beat The Undertaker, you all witnessed that, but, but could you imagine all that other wacky stuff? <laughs> Portals and Marsh Ladies and Papa Shango? <laughs> yeah, gotcha, joke's on you! <laughs> uh, anyway, let's get back to things that actually happened. Like when I was the longest reigning women's champion of the modern era, holding the SmackDown Live Women's Championship for over two and a half years. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Remember, guys, the title is on the line here in this one. And I don't remember the last time the champ was in this much jeopardy, Cole. Tonight might just be the night the title changes hands. Oh, boy. Did someone call for a Glamazon? Introduce the women's champion posted on social media today. 